So this is the Disney's uh, baby infant toddler rocker. It works from 6 LBs to 40 LBs, so even when the baby grows up. So you can see how it looks. And uh, it is really fun. I'm, I'm really making it for my infant daughter. I'm hoping that it will work, work for me for a few years. I have seen the videos online and it looked really nice. I'm just going to show you how to install it. And I just can't wait to try it. So, the first step is how to make it is you need to take this rod and you can see this thing is flexible so you need to make, make sure that this thing is flexible next you want to take both of these rods here and you want to make sure this hole comes on the inside so you want it in this way so do it this way otherwise you will face problems first put this but don't press the button here right and then do the same thing here for the bottom you do, it, do this one with the bottom one first and because this thing is flexible, right? So you can do it this way. So you can see what I have done. I have basically connected it here like this. Since this thing is flexible, it is perfect. Right? Now I am just going to press this button. And I am going to push this inside. So... You can see I have not pushed it all the way. I am first going to do this. You can see how I pulled it one inside. Now I'm going to do this one. So the, if you do the bottom one first, uh, it's very easy. Otherwise, you might face some problem initially. Now same on the other side, right? Do the bottom one first. Don't put it the whole way inside, completely inside. Do the top one first. Now the top one is also inside. Press the top button because top button is easy to do and make it like make it halfway, and then do the same thing here. And here you can see how easy it was to make the first part. Okay, now keep this on the side for now. And now take these two. So you see this one. Now remember this hole must be outside. This hole must be outside. And this thing is like this. Right? So you want the curved part out, you not know, standing upwards. And then you just need to connect it. Not at all difficult, right? Easy. Uh, the same thing here as well, there is this button and you need to press and then it goes inside and locks in place. Same here as well. And you can see now this thing is in place. So yep, it is ready. Right, so this was step two. Okay, now you need to place this here and you need to place this in this holes. Now to make sure that you don't make a mistake, this part which is where this battery container will go in that needs to go near this legs are right that's how you know and another good thing is on one side there are three holes and on one side there are two holes and here they have this extra protrusion so with this because of the extra protrusion you need three holes so they have made it such a way that with this extra hole you can decide you can only place it in the right direction only so if you are unable to place it and you maybe you are, you are, you are basically putting this thing in the wrong direction. So you want the middle hole to go into this protrusion. So you can see the way I did it. And that's it. Right? Now what I am going to do is I am going to take these four screws and I am going to attach it. Right? Now these screws go right below the other screws. So that's how you know and you don't make any mistakes. So you are going to basically place all the four screws here now. Now you are going to put a big 1.5 volt battery here, put the screw back in and then you are just going to slide this in, in here like this. Right, you should just slide in without any issue, it's very smooth. Next, now the final part where you are going to put the cover. Now this is almost the final part. You can see this is how it should be, this mini mouse should come on the top. And you just need to make sure that this thing is bearing this thing the way I did it over here right and then you need to make sure that this thing is wearing here so first of all just stretch it a bit if you are having any issues right and you are now going to put this thing on top of here you will have to pull it a little bit so feel free to pull it a bit this one is a more difficult part I think Let 
Let me remove this first. Yep, that was the issue. Need to remove that buckle that I did not remove. Once you remove it, it becomes it becomes really easy. You need to basically wrap this around this thing. So you can see this thing should come out of the hole. Right? Now you can tie the buckle back in. And this is how it looks after it has been made. So in case you have any problem, don't make the same mistake that I made. Just remove this buck this buckle as well. And then it's very easy to do. Okay, now just turn this around. I like to do it this way because it's much easier. And start putting the buckle. Right? Okay. This should be easy now. Yeah, that's it. Now the only part will remaining is this one. So you can then do that the last and final step. But yeah, so now this thing is ready. Now we are going to actually make sure that this buckle that you are seeing here, these are tied properly. So you want to make sure that they go in. So this is the final part. Take a second. Okay, now depending on the, you can see there are three holes, right? One, two, three. Depending on the age, you want to use the appropriate one. As your baby goes older, you want to use the, the more higher, higher holes. But for now, since my baby is an infant, I'm just going to use this one. So basically I am, I removed all of these buckles and you can see there are two of these which are untied. I am just putting it in this, inside this here. Same for this one as well. Right? Okay. Oh, don't, just turn around where it's, you know, it's flat. Now you are going to turn it around and you can see these two buckles which are empty. You are going to place this inside this buckle and going to carry it out from this one. Now what you want to do is you want it initially to be slightly loose. So you can see after I put this thing, I'm just going to make this slightly bigger. You can always tighten it later, right? But just until you get a baby adjusted, you want to understand what is, so don't want it to be too tight initially, right? Until you figure out the right uh, size for your baby. So yeah, so you can see I have made this tight. This way what happens is this, this rods, they are like have a lot more flexibility. And once you put your baby in here, then you can then, you know, slowly adjust the weight depending on if you think it's like loose or if it's tight for the baby. Okay, now you just need to put this in. And here as well. And that's it, right? So, yeah. And it's locked in place. Now your baby can basically touch this thing with her hand, play with it and so on. And they're right in their face. So, you know, it's like, uh, it's a lot more fun and lot. <laughs> now these two green buttons here, these are the ones that you can use to adjust the inclination, right? Depending on if you want to be standing or slightly sleeping position, you can change the inclination, right? And this is what you will use as a stand, right? So you can see when I pull it down, it basically becomes a stand. So now what happens is, it is no longer a rocking chair, right? It is now a stable chair. But when you, but, okay. Now if you are not supposed to pull it with this. Uh, and when you want it rocking, you are going to turn it around like this. And you see now it becomes a rocking chair for the baby, like a bouncer. Yes, that is it. Uh, and you can obviously use this uh, to, for vibration and uh, uh, you know, to turn on the turn and on and off the vibrations if you want. That's it. Okay, thank you.